Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and this is the 100 baby challenge. Oh wait, no it's not. What the fuck? <laughs> take, take two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay guys. Um, can tell I wasn't paying complete attention there, can't you? I was trying to multitask and figure out if my audio was working. Okay, no, we're actually building a toddler play center today, but mine's better than what everyone else has been making because mine also has kids equipment, so I'm by far superior. I mean it a place where kids and toddlers can come so the whole family can have fun. Um, I, it, I really like it a lot. Um, there was a bit of a disaster that happened to me, which I'm not very happy about. Um when I had finished the build and I was done recording, I went, I went to like save and exit the game and I was like, crap, I had to fix something, but I accidentally clicked exit game instead of like cancel. I just hit my microphone, of course. So, um, I had to rebuild it and I think in some ways it's better. Like the inside I think is better, sort of, but, and like, uh, I don't know, but I also think some things were better the first time. So what I'm going to do is after I finish the speed build, I'm just going to show you what it looks like now so you can see what you're actually going to be downloading. I don't know. I thought it might also be fun because you'll get to go on an adventure with me. So I gave this place two bathrooms and then I give it, um, I also give it a room for the kids to sleep in. So there's toddler beds and children's beds. There's a living room area, a kitchen and like just a lot of toys and then outside will be the giant play structures for the kids <clears throat> i totally changed the size of the inside i make it a lot more outside because i decided i wanted to put the slip inside in so i wanted to put that on the side of the house because i didn't have enough room so i like did some changing up of things so the house looks completely different now than or like finish wise as it does now which also happened with my spa build the way the outside changed for that was like so different from when I first started but I don't know I've just been changing my mind halfway through things lately for some reason but yeah this is like too big of an area I don't know I always make my areas a little bit too big on purpose because I want I like to have extra space I don't like cramped things but that's not always the best and I kind of need to stop doing that so but it's more because I'm like I'm not planning it room by room I just lay down a house and then I make the rooms and that's why that happens but yeah so basically everything you're seeing now completely changes throughout the build um literally I change everything I just but I really like the way it turned out so you know what it's okay I feel like I need to speed this up more it seems kind of slow yeah, I only have it increased by like half because otherwise it would be a really short video, but I might change it. I don't know if I can change it and keep recording. Let's see if this completely fucks everything up. Are you ready? Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> Darn. I'm going to try. Okay, so I tried to speed it or like I tried to change the speed a little bit. I got rid of two minutes, so it'll be a little bit faster. <laughs> But that's all it would let me do. So right now we're putting in the play things in the back, which I really like. And that's when I realized I wanted to do the slip and slide. And that's when it changed because I didn't want all those three big things next to each other. So I'm like, you know what? This house is too big anyways. Shrink! <laughs> well, I like the way it turns out. <clears throat> in the rebuild, I gave a l the houses a little bit bigger. So, or like not the house, the daycare part is a little bit bigger. So on the slip inside, it's three instead of four uh, grid width thing. So it changes the way the that part of the house looks quite a bit, but it's still cute. So that is all. Okay. Guys, I'm starting school in three days. I'm so excited to go back to school. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. I don't, I, okay. I've had a lot of fun this summer. I've really enjoyed it. By the way, that's my new favorite couch swatch really love it using it a lot it's in my amazon challenge now too in the create in uh, aurora's living room i like it and i use the bean bags those are cute but back to what i was saying um 
I'm really excited for school because I like learning. I just really, really love learning. I actually want to be a teacher. That's just what I want to be now. That will most likely change in the future. But, um, so I've just been really wanting to learn new things. Like, I've been wanting to buy, like, really old, outdated textbooks for really cheap so I could learn, but, like, learn from them. But I haven't really figured out how I want to do that because it has to be new enough where it's, like, interesting. I want it to be, like, an actual textbook. So I don't know. I'll figure that out at some point. But, yeah, um that's why I'm excited to go back to school. I'm not excited for, like, how tired it's gonna make me, because I naturally wake up around 8.30 to 9 o'clock, and I naturally go to bed at, like, 11.30, which is great, but for school, I have to wake up at 7, 6.50, and I still go to bed at 11, because I can't go to bed earlier, like, that's just not possible, so I just don't get enough sleep. Honestly, I lose a lot of sleep. That's really shitty. I wish school would start an hour later. Scientifically proven, it's a lot better when school starts an hour later, but they won't do that because parents start work earlier. I'm like, why can't you just do it for high school? Most of us drive ourselves anyways or take the bus. Whatever. <laughs> um, I'm also really excited because it's my senior year, which means that um, I'm going to be going to college, and my boyfriend and all my friends are going to college this year. They're all actually two years older than me, but literally my entire friend group took, a, like, a break year. It's kind of weird. Uh, but I'm just super excited to go to college because it seems, like, really fun, to be honest. Just getting to learn different things. I'm super excited about it. But, I don't know. Tell me what you guys, like, tell me if you guys are still in school and if you are, like, if you like it or hate it. I know I'll get some varying opinions on that. And if you're not in school, like, what you do for a living, or if you're in college and stuff like that, I'd be really interested in knowing what you guys are up to. Um, I liked, I like these rugs I put down and hate them at the same time. I don't really know how I feel about them. I just don't like that they're both kind of the same color swatch, but that's also why I like them. It's very conflicting. Um, but I really love the living room area. I think when I redo it, I put a different rug there because it doesn't look like that, I'm pretty sure. And, um, in the redo, I have a dining table to eat at, too, which is nice. So, I can't wait to show you guys. I should get The Sims 4 up and running in the background while I am doing this narration. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. That's actually probably a really horrible idea, and I really shouldn't do it, but it's too late. It's happening. Oi, frozen. Okay. <laughs> But I'm really excited. I haven't gone to this lot yet or tried it out. I really, really want to. So I'm thinking in the 100 Baby Challenge. We just got back from our vacation, at least in the part like where I am in recording. So I'm going to be taking us... Like, I wanted to take a day to hang out with the kids. And I was thinking maybe we could go to this park. Except they're all like starting school again and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> maybe I'll just take the toddlers there and have the kids come in with off school. Actually, I could totally do that. Alright, we're gonna do that then. Um, I really want to meet some toddlers so that we can have a toddler play date, but I also know that there's absolutely no toddlers in town. Like, I don't think so. I can still look, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. So that kind of sucks. But in this build, I literally put everything you'd ever need in it. So there's a lot of fun stuff for kids. All right, guys, I'm going to show you what the new thing looks like. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a tour of the new building here. So this is the entrance way, and then you just come in. And we have, well, here, let me show you over here first. This is, like, what's new about it. We have a little, like, this is the entryway. It's on over here. And then we have this here. You can put shoes, which is nice. Gives it a lifelike quality. It's a place people can do homework if they need to do homework. And then we have the living room where we have some toddler tablets where they can use. I don't know why that is way over there. Um, I'm going to fix that. That's, like, kind of weird. Um, and then we have the dining table. Oh my god, I didn't notice the cool... What is that? What is happening? I have a weird glitch. Okay. Um, 
And then this is the new kitchen area, pretty much the same. Bathrooms would be pretty much the same as well. I just added mirrors. And then this room, which is where they can sleep. We have potties, um, so a drawing area and reading area, and then beds for a bunch of people. And then you come outside to the porch where we have a little uh, Lego station you can use. And there's the toddler play area, which I've not yet to see a toddler and I'm really excited to. We have a little toy area with a picnic and bubbles. And then this is for the kids. And there's a little dragon back here you can play with. Then we have the experiment and another drawing area and the slip and slide. And we got a table. I was supposed to get rid of that chair. I'll fix that too. And then we have this. So yes, this is my toddler play area. I hope you guys like it. I like it a lot, actually. I'm pretty proud of it. I'm definitely going to be using it in my LPs. Uh, if you guys like this video, please give me a like down below. And uh, subscribe to my channel to make me super happy and feel good about myself. Alright guys, I love you so, so very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!